Okay, let's talk about decluttering your closet. Now, the act of sorting out your closet is already a pretty big task, at least in my opinion. And it can be quite a frustrating one as well for a lot of us out there. Now imagine adding a twist to that, an element of a handmade closet, clothes and garments that you have knitted, crocheted, sewn, quilted, painted, whatnot, and I think that that escalates the difficulty of the task probably by at least 10 times. And I really remember the time when I just started sewing about 10, 11 years ago, and I would keep things and keep clothes just for one particular reason, because they were handmade. Maybe the didn't fit, maybe there was wear and tear, maybe they could serve somebody else better, but no, I was holding on to them just because they were handmade. And eventually that really started to weigh on me and take away the simplicity of the closet that I was looking for. As you guys know, I truly enjoy capsule wardrobes and just a pretty simplistic wardrobe altogether. So that really defeated the purpose. And I have a feeling that you might be in the same boat as I was a few years back. Now, it's still is a pretty difficult task for me to declutter my handmade clothes as majority of my wardrobe is handmade. However, I did find a couple of ways how to get that done effectively and in the least painful manner. So today, let's do it together. Now, one of the guidelines that I try to follow quite closely is that I try to not to declutter in the middle of the season or at the beginning of the season, but instead I do that at the end. So for example, right now here in Northern Hemisphere, we're just about to head into fall season. So I will not declutter fall winter clothes up until springtime of next year. But instead, right now, as we have just finished up the spring and summer season, I will take care of those clothes first. Now, over the years, I have found that this particular approach really lets me not to make any rash decisions and to really see with a fresh mind of, aha, these are the clothes that I did wear this past spring and summer, and these are the clothes that I didn't. Do they need some alterations? Do they need some fixing up? Or maybe they don't have another companion to be worn with. Maybe this is a top that doesn't have any pants or skirts to go with it or something along those lines. So I think in some ways this approach lets you analyze the facts as after the season is over instead of trying to predict what will you wear or not wear as the season is beginning. Now, here's a really big but. When you do that, you have to be mindful of those clothes and those pieces of your wardrobe that are mid-seasonal. Items that you can wear in the summertime, in the springtime, in the fall, and maybe even in the winter. That also goes for the basics as well because basics you can usually wear any time of the year. So for example, I did decide to declutter this dress and I will tell you all the reasons why in just a few moments. But this dress can be worn in the summertime, in the spring, and also in the fall time as well. So when you do take this approach, just be mindful of some of those pieces that can be good all year round. Because yes, having regrets I think is the biggest fear when it comes to decluttering your closet, especially when it comes to your handmade closet. All right, now that you have your little stack of clothes that are under the question whether to be decluttered or not, it's time to sort them out, and this is how I do. And by the way, a lot of times when we say closet declutter, I think that the image that comes to mind is these piles and mounds of clothes that are leaving your closet. But in reality, at least for me, uh, it's usually maybe one or two, maybe up to three pieces. This time it's a little bit more just because I decided to empty my maybe box, and I'll tell you all about the maybe box just in about a few moments, but yeah, really it's not that much. Your first time might be quite a bit of pieces, but any time after that, usually for me it's about one or two, maybe up to three. So it really is a very personal process for each and every individual out there. So the three categories in which I divide all of the clothes that I have just decluttered are, the first one is wear and tear. So those are any of the clothes that have shown wear and tear. Maybe they need to be fixed up or maybe it's just time for them to go and be cut up and maybe I can use these remnants for something else. The little subdivision for this category is any of the clothes that need to be altered. So those are the clothes that I still want to wear, but I have to perform some alterations on them. Maybe the length, maybe the fit, maybe something else, but that also goes all in one category. 
The second category of clothes are those clothes that maybe don't have another companion in my closet. They're not too fancy, they're not too simple, but they're still pretty good clothes and I put them aside because I will be wearing them at home. I am one of those people who does change clothes when I come home. So at home, I wear different clothes, clothes that I know that I can get dirty, clothes that I know that I can wear while painting with acrylics with my kiddo or making some science experiments and everything else in between. So that way I don't need to worry about ruining my good clothes that I wear outside. So I realized this might not be for everybody, but this was just how I was raised and I find this a very comfortable way of being at home and not worrying about ruining your clothes. So I do have a little pile for that, but usually just an occasional t-shirt or occasional pants will make its way into that pile. This next category of items contains clothes for two reasons. Number one, I really fell out of love with this garment. I can't see myself ever wearing it again for whatever reason. I just don't really like it at all to the point that I don't want to alter it and I don't really want to have anything to do with it. And number two is that when something really doesn't fit and there's no way of altering it so that way it would fit. Now usually these clothes are in really great condition. So what I would do is I would put them aside and then I will call my friends and family and I will see if anybody would like to give them a new home. However, as I said, decluttering your handmade clothes is never easy and I'm really particular about the fact that these clothes are actually going to get the wear that they deserve. So when I do ask my friends and family, I want to make sure that they really are going to wear these clothes instead of taking them just because I offer them. So I am quite particular and I apologize if sometimes it can be a little bit but annoying but I truly want to make sure that the clothes will get the wear and not going to get trash because with the same success I can give these clothes to those who need them more and I can also cut them apart and use them as the fabric for clothes for my daughter so there are many possibilities for these clothes to be reused again and again so that is my main purpose to make sure that they get the wear and get utilized the best way possible and then comes the maybe box. The maybe box is the box in the corner of my closet where I put clothes that I know that don't fit for whatever reason, that I know that are not my style anymore, that I know that I will not wear. However, I have such a hard time parting with them and I really can't push myself to do that at that very particular moment. So I put them in the maybe box. Usually it takes about three to six months, sometimes nine months for me to get that maybe box out and to really realize that okay I have not reached for these clothes and I will truly not wear them ever again so it really is time to let them go to find them a new home or some other purpose. Now a really good example of the maybe box is this really cute white with golden polka dot sweater. I absolutely love it. I used to wear it quite often when I was pregnant at the very late stages of my pregnancy so I did stretch it out so it really doesn't fit. Now you could also say why wouldn't you wear this at home and put it into your pile of wearing clothes at home. I could but I'm also very practical and I know that this is in such a great condition. The fabric is still great and it's white white with gold polka dots, I would probably have it dirty with paint within a day or less. So really my two options as of this very moment are either find a new home, a person who would really enjoy this sweater and would wear it, or option number two is to cut it apart and use the fabric for something else like a cute Christmas outfit for my daughter. Now these are the items that I'm letting go of today. Some of them are going to be cut up into smaller remnants and be reused. Some of them are going to find their new home within friends, family or donations. And some of them I'm going to wear at home. So let's take a look. This cardigan has been in the maybe box for a while. I used to love it, but the rounded hem on the bottom is really not my thing anymore. So it's time to find it a new home. Now this shift dress right over here, I made it way back when, when we used to live in Vegas. And the fabric is great, still in great condition, but our lifestyle has changed dramatically. So I have nowhere to wear this beautiful dress. Now this sweater, we've talked about it a little bit. I did stretch it out when I was pregnant. The fabric is still in great condition. So I'm thinking to cut it up and to use it for jammies for my little one. Now this knit pencil skirt, again, I love it, 
but I do have a mommy pouch and because this pencil skirt is made out of stretch velvet it highlights that area so very well and I'm not a fan of that now this sweater I made it last Christmas and since then it's been in my maybe box and the reason for it is because for whatever reason I made it cropped uh, from what I remember, I had some sort of idea about making high-waisted pants to go with it and that idea never really came to fruition, so this is way too cropped for me to wear. And this turtleneck sweater, I love it as well and I actually got a ton of wear out of it, but the material, the fabric itself is so soft, it's stretched out incredibly, so I'm gonna cut it up and use it for some other projects. Now, my dear sewing friends, how do you declutter your handmade closet? Or maybe you don't at all. Either way, please let me know about that in the comments below. I would love to read what you guys have to say. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you very soon in another video. Bye.